What are you doing? <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And we are Cars and Cameras, and we are this close from having a roller on our CB750 cross cart. But uh, we're having to do some redesigns to the front end of this go-kart because, well, it's severely undersprung. Let's show them, dude. Let's put a jack under it and jack it up and show them that it won't even support itself. It does support itself. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Until, until I do this. Wait a minute. You ready for it? Yeah. No. <laughs> the, the top shot, we're standing it up more, so it's going to be stronger. Dude, this is the first time we've seen it kind of sitting. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, okay, we need like a tire that's way taller in the rear, but well, so far, nice. pretty good. Yeah. We, uh, we'll keep an eye out for a bigger, fatter tire that will fit on that rim. Yeah, but in the meantime, dude, we can roast it. Yeah. Oh, it feels pretty good. Oh, hey, bad. that is not bad at all. The only thing I don't like is they're they're stiff enough that they're uh, full uh, full release. It's you feel it. Clunk, yeah. Clunk, clunk. Well, we're not done adding weight. We still need a fuel tank. Still need a brake. That's true. Chain. It's all gonna add up. It's gonna work. Yes. Well, the main suspect in Leroy's murder is out and about right now, and he's checking out the uh, hen house. I, say let him have the bird I ran out to grab a trap so we can apprehend the suspect and bring him in for questioning. I drilled some holes in some flat bar for our new shock mounts. I'm gonna tack him in. Our welder's acting funny. Uh, we had to buy a new wand for it a, year, a few years ago. The, it seemed to be wearing out, so we did it again, and that should be here in like a week. So I'm only tacking right now. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? Got ourselves our special equipment. for us to test it test it you ready for me to drop it like it's hot drop it like it's hot all right i don't think this is going to cure it but it's going to be better yes you think it's going to decompress on its own no <laughs> okay Hey, it's not bad. Is uh, we have adjustment in these guys. Yeah. Is it already in its stiffest loose. setting? Okay. okay. And we have adjustment here as well. For now, we're satisfied with just these lower shocks. We can add more in the future if we need, but we don't want to overspring this thing. And it seems to be pretty good right now. So the maiden voyage can be with just these lower set of shocks. It's crazy what just mounting them differently can do for uh, stiffness. So now we're moving on to steering so we can have a true roller and we can push each other down the hill and make race car noises. So we have a steering linkage and a steering wheel uh, from gopowersports.com. Check it out in the link in the description of the video. So we need to figure out placement for that and then also we need a cross member to mount it to. I think this is good. Yeah, we're trying to figure out where to put our cross brace for steering. We want to still be able to get in and out of the darn thing. Do you want me to hold the steering wheel and you can practice getting out? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Ready, set, go. I guess the seat should be in one place too. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna have a problem. Well, good. The steering wheel's tacked in place. Now we had to modify our steering linkage to fit. So we're having to actually lengthen it by about two and a half inches. So I already cut out my piece of round stock. I'm using a piece of angle iron to help center it so it won't be wobbly after I weld it. Um, 
gonna have to take out some washers. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Didn't need them really. Is that it? Mm-hmm. We have steering. Those Look are. How sharp it turns. Yeah, not very. <laughs> It looks like the steering wheel is upside down. <laughs> it's like perfectly upside down. I think this is straight. Uh, I didn't know it, but the steering wheel was turned. So. You want to explain to them how this works? So, the farther out your steering pivot point is for your ball joint, tie rod end, whatever you want to call it, the less steering angle you're going to get. And the closer it is to the pivot point, on the spindle the tighter it's going to be i don't yes. know why but okay this is this is why when you have a pivot point like so move it two inches move it two inches on whoop go closer to the pivot point go two inches oh look at that a, a lot more throw makes sense this is turning out I to mean, be pretty it's, good it's not super duper sharp yeah but it should get us by It'll get us by. Uh, we can always uh, go one more. We can try, yeah. In, but unless it's a problem, dude, I say I'm it'll be say fine. Leave it unless it's a problem. Yeah. Sweet. Plus, the steering has gotten a lot tighter. Yeah. So. So can I push you around the driveway now? I don't know, dude. I might be digging the little tires. It looks like more race car than off-road. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Ike crashed it already. It doesn't even run and Ike already crashed it. Why didn't you go to the right? To the right. I didn't know I was going to the right. Uh, oh. I thought you were going to stop me. No, I just... <laughs> that was pretty good, man. <laughs> I just... I, no brakes. I, I was going for the tree because I don't want to hit that. I don't want to hit that. I don't want to hit that. I'll hit the tree. And, of course, the jack was in the way, so... Oh, the jack stopped you, man. Yeah, it did. That's funny. I, I let you go so it would look like you were going on your own when you went by the camera. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Of course not. I'm just checking uh, just in case we flip it, what's going to happen. And the steering wheel is going to get mushed. But it looks like my head is kind of behind what would be the ground. It's going to be close. I'll be skating at least my... Your helmet, yeah, your helmet's going to get a good... Uh, My helmet's going to get some road rash, but that's that's fine. We need to figure out some seat belts for this thing, dude. What seat belts? I mean, well, if we flip it, dude, it's not going to do any good if we don't have a seat belt. Look at that. Right after Ike's first crash. <laughs> it's ready to go. <laughs> and we were just talking, the weight distribution is not going to be that, that bad on the rear. It might be 55, 45, or 60, 40. 60, 40. I would like to find out. I don't think it's going to be quite 60-40. I'd say 60-40. Alright, you might be right, but I don't want you to be right. I want it to be more balanced than that, but I think you're right. Because, I mean, the engine is in front of that axle a decent amount. And then also the rider is kind of in the middle slash forward. So, we have a good potential here for weight distribution. And I think it looks a little funny with that gap right there right now. Oh, we're going to fill that yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, that's going to get, a, you know, exhaust, some kind of fan, maybe ducting. There's going to be plenty there, battery. Yeah, because we definitely need to have some airflow going to the front of the engine. So there might be some ducts coming off of here, which might be pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and brace up this frame a little bit more. And I still think we should just keep tacking stuff because our welder's sick. Real quick, though, I'm going to check on our trap. Let's see if we have any perps. Nope, no perps. So the raccoon really seems to like bird food and cat food, so we made him a nice cocktail of bird cat food we haven't caught any cats either so i don't know time will tell but we will keep you guys updated so we took it out for its first test ike already crashed it and now we're welding in some uh 
some reinforcements for the frame from when we cut them out a few episodes ago. Get over. Yep. Turned it down for you. I think it was welding better hot. Now I know that metal's not 14 gauge, but that's what we're going with. Yeah, give it a shot. Cover. Yep. Sounds better. that helps with the side to side uh a little bit but it's not going to be everything yeah we uh we really should have what you said earlier something here to down there yeah that's what i'm thinking that would help uh we can build something that can unbolt so we can uh get the engine out get the engine out so, uh, Yep. Okay. Yeah, still got some twist to it. Yeah. So we need to uh you know it's not it's not twisting at the shocks. The rear shocks. Those are solid. It's twisting in this bar and this bottom bar, we need to attach up here diagonal to, to down there. But this side's not a problem. I think it's this side that's the problem. Yeah. All right. For one thing, these upper mounts are going to help because if you if you look, yeah, we still don't have um. We don't have those, and if you look, look at the engine. Yep. So we get those uh, mounts in. That'll fix it at that point. We're still going to have some twist, but I'm thinking that we can uh, once we get the headers on, then. We have another mount up here on the front of the engine, right here. And we can attach that down to the bottom frame and we can possibly try to attach it up top too. Kind of turn the engine into a truss. All right guys, that's all we have time for in today's video. We got a rolling chassis and we figured out the front suspension. We didn't even have to add a second set of springs. Uh, we got some things braced up. We're waiting on parts for our welder um, and we got some bracing done as well. So next time we need to mount the seat, fuel tank, battery, chain, finish welding everything up and we're going to have a runner. The end is in sight. I feel like most of the big stuff is kind of over. Yeah. The suspension was a little tricky, but I think we got it. Maybe. <laughs> we'll seems see. To, seems to work pretty good. The front feels almost as stiff as the rear, even though we're using like Murray go-kart front uh, shocks on this thing, and we have Miata shocks on the rear. But it seems to be working out so far. Of course, the ultimate test is going to be taking it on its first ride. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you're excited for the first ride on the cross cart. It's coming soon. And uh, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on the cross cart and our other projects. Uh, help support us by picking up a t-shirt at cars-cameras.com. And if you want spoilers and updates like weeks in advance, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Thank you for watching again, and we will see you next time.